In this example, I need to find the exact value of the inverse cosine of the cosine of 5 pi over 4. At first glance, this looks like it might be a very easy problem. I have an inverse cosine function and I have a cosine function. And some students think these are going to undo each other and my answer is just going to be 5 pi over 4. But be very careful, whenever you have a composition of trig functions like this, you can get problems from the restrictions on the inverse trig function. So quickly reviewing, the inverse cosine function, the input values or the domain are real numbers in the interval negative one to one, including both the endpoints. Output values or range are angles in the interval zero to pi, again, including the endpoints. So what this means is if I have an inverse cosine function problem, my answer has to lie somewhere in the shaded region on this unit circle, somewhere between 0 and pi. Is 5 pi over 4 in this shaded region? No, it's down here. So I know 5 pi over 4 cannot be the answer to this problem. So working this problem, we always start working from the inside out. So I'm going to have the inverse cosine of, what is the cosine of 5 pi over 4? Here's 5 pi over 4. And remember, the cosine is the x-coordinate of this point. So it's going to equal negative the square root of 2 over 2. Two. So now all I have to do is find the inverse cosine of negative the square root of 2 over 2. Remember the way we often do that is we're looking for an angle set it equal to theta. What does this statement mean? This statement means that the cosine of theta equals negative the square root of 2 over 2, but don't forget the restrictions, and theta has to lie in the region 0 to pi. So I'm looking for an angle somewhere between 0 and pi whose x-coordinate is negative the square root of 2 over 2. Since the x-coordinate is negative, I have to be over here in quadrant 2. And here I have an x-coordinate of negative the square root of 2 over 2. And what angle gives me that? It's 3 pi over 4. So I know the angle I'm looking for is 3 pi over 4. So the inverse cosine of the cosine of 5 pi over 4 equals 3 pi over 4 and not 5 pi over 4.